Hey man, what are we doing today? Shaving it off. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start off with putting this shave gel on your head. It's kind of gonna act like, sorry, it's a little cold. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's gonna act kind of like a pre-shave. Okay. I don't like using oil, because it just makes everything uh, slippery. And you know, the last thing I want is to not have a good grip on the, uh, the straight razor when I'm shaving, so. I like to use a shave gel. Also good for when you're doing like lineups and stuff because you can uh, see what you're doing a little bit better. I'm just gonna kind of coat your whole head with this. And then I'll put the towel on there. Let it soften your hair up. And then we'll put some, uh, some of that warm lather and start shaving. Some bumps or moles on your mm -hmm. head. No. Just the scar in the front. Scar in the front? Right. Okay. Hit by a beer bottle. A beer bottle? Looking out for a friend. Blown in on it. <laughs> Literally. That's when you were living in Jersey? No, it was here. It was uh, on the north side. Oh, yeah. And well, uh, that yeah. explains it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, I was blindsided, basically. I don't know how my mom got the blood out of my shirt, but she did it. And that was like one of my favorite shirts too. Alright, I think we're pretty good here. I'm gonna take this towel, wrap your head with it, it's gonna soften up your hair. because this is typically where the hair is the, uh, the thickest. So I, I usually start here and I would kind of work my way from there. So I've got my straight freezer here. Barber's <laughs> do. 
Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. You're gonna cut everybody when you're a barber too. That's true. But they would talk like big game. Like, yeah, yeah, I'll shoot you, man. man. You're good. Oh, yeah. And then the next thing I know, I'm getting filleted. So, um, I'm going to be shaving with the grain for the whole time. There's less of a chance of irritation when you do that. Less of a chance of cutting clients, you know? Mm -hmm. Always stretching the skin. Really, the main thing about that's the main thing not to cut somebody is stretch the skin, make sure the skin is lubricated, and use the right angle, right direction. That's pretty much it. And you don't need to use a lot of pressure, you know, because you, you got a new do the work. Yeah, if you got a new blade in there, that blade's gonna do the work. If you find yourself having to use a lot of pressure, then you might need to uh, change your blade out. Well, some clients, well, in my experience, most, most clients want you to blend in the top of their beard, but just into the, the head shave part, but kind of depends. How do you usually wear your beard, Brian? Uh, I usually blend it in. Blend it in? Gotcha. But I can do that after half the hour video. What? I was just whispering, like, you don't have to do it. I can do it. Okay. Makes my job easier. Yeah. I was, like, talking like a ventriloquist, trying not to move my mouth. Do you have to be apply different pressure when you're going around the ear? I, I try to do very little pressure when I'm around the ears because that's where the skin is pretty thin, you know? When, I'm, when you're shaving large sections, like what I'm doing right now, you can afford to use a little bit more pressure because the skin is usually a bit thicker right there. When I'm working in like sensitive areas, like around the ear, I'm using as little pressure as possible. My first time shaving with the straight razor, I almost fan goad myself. <laughs> and I was trying to straighten up the line back here, mm -hmm. and the blade slipped when I cut that piece of skin right there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was bleeding like a stuck pig. I was just full holding my ear to my head like, oh god, oh god. Oh yeah, I've cut myself way more time than I <laughs> like. Best way to shave, but mm -hmm. you cannot rush it. Not at all. Do you have any tips for if people have rolls in their head? Rolls? Yeah. People have lines in the back of their head. Well, you can try to stretch it and get it that way, but. There's, you know, there's certain type of people that you, you, not every technique is gonna work on everybody. So, and he's got a really easy head to shave, but, you know, in cases where you have, you know, more moles and things like that, or rolls, you wanna probably go over it with the foil shaver first, just to minimize the chances of cutting them. If you start shaving your beard early, then it's gonna start coming in thicker. But then there's that other one where it's like you can shave it and it might not grow back. Uh, I mean, I've, I think I've heard that, but do you, I mean, do you think that's true? I mean, I've 
in high school, I used to have him shave off my widow's teeth, and literally now my widow's teeth is not growing. Oh. But then neither does the rest of your hair. Yeah, I know, that's <laughs> so weird. I'm just using this spoil shaver to uh, take the hair down even more. Because when we shaved your head, we did it with the, uh, well, with the grain. And uh, you can shave against the grain, but I prefer to use the, uh, the foil shaver to take it down more. That's just less of a chance of irritation and cutting somebody when you use the, the foil shaver. Did you order the uh, gamma ones yet? The head shavers, the foil? No, not yet. Mm -hmm. Not very necessary. These, these are working pretty well, but still. The clippers were a little bit more necessary, yeah. I think, because the fabulous ones. So. <laughs> Ethan was telling me about the um, the alphas, that they're kind of similar to the um, magic lips. Um, yeah, I think so. I think the alphas are... They're basically magic clips with a clip logo. But I didn't feel like there was anything special about them. You know, with the gamma, with the ergos. Like the whole, it's a whole new motor, you know? That's the magnetic yeah, one. Yeah, that's the magnetic motor, so. Maybe if Gamma's watching this, they'll send us some free stuff. Let's check that. it out. I would like one Gamma. <laughs> gamma, please. <laughs> Help a small channel out. Yeah. <laughs> no, I really like this clipper though. They, um, so far my favorite clipper. It's 2020. That's a pretty bold statement. Because I see you use the Andes a lot. I mean, Almost all the clippers, cordless clippers that yeah. have come out this year and in the past few years and so far, that the ergo is my hands down my favorite. Sometimes you get clients that are have like greasy scalp or you know, they just came from the gym and they're all sweaty nasty. Mm -hmm. You can put some uh, talcum powder on the skin. Oh, okay. Because if the skin is dry, it's better. This will work a lot better. Mm -hmm. well, we have good clients here. <laughs> yeah. Either, I, I, it's been a while since I've had to catch somebody who like just came from the gym. But, man. I got yeah. these like rinsed off parts. I mean, it makes sense, you know? Yeah. Go to the gym after your hair cut. Yeah, <laughs> it wreaks havoc on the tools, too. You get a better haircut than your hair cut. Mm -hmm. Just putting a little bit of aftershave on there. Let's uh, close up those pores. Your wife said they smell nice when you walk through the door, right? <laughs> right? How's everything look? Awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Anything else you need? That'll be it. Cool. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. What's up, man? I'm Alex. What are we doing today? Head shave. All right, let's do it. What's up, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs>